Oops. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 25! It is a Christmas morning. My family is here. Woohoo! My mom is here. Cal is here. I'm here. My dad is here. Crazy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. My mom is eating her breakfast. Daisy's chilling. Okay, so in case you guys missed the Christmas Eve vlog, my family was here last night, including my brother and his girlfriend Aubrey. Shane and Aubrey went home to take care of the dogs, but my parents stayed to hang out. <laughs> Woohoo! They get a vacation! <laughs> Normally we do presents on Christmas Eve, but this year we waited till Christmas Day, which I am really excited for. I need to get yesterday's vlogmas up, and then I need to start working on breakfast. But, it's gonna be a good day. I'm very excited. Let me edit, I'll come back. All right guys, I got yesterday's vlogmas done. I'm getting it up right now. And last night, literally at like 9 p.m., I feel so bad that delivery people were out delivering last night on Christmas Eve. It makes me so sad. Hello? Oh, you're in there. Okay, okay, let me get out of the room. <laughs> the box that I'm about to wrap is in that bathroom, but my dad's in there. He told me to leave and I'll push it out. <laughs> to the delivery person who delivered this and to all the people who were working on Christmas Eve, thank you so, so much, so, so much. So a few vlogs back, I told you guys that I needed a new desk chair because my chair is broken. One of the wheels fell off and I legit like fall off of it sometimes because I can't balance with not enough wheels. So I was gonna get myself a new office chair, but I found this one that just screamed Cal to me and I want to give it to him for Christmas today. He's upstairs working on his podcast right now. I have to be quiet but I figured I'll just take his chair because he has a nice new chair and he works up in his office a lot more than I do. I normally work like on the couch or something so I got him a nice new chair and then I can just take that one but look at this. It's so cool. It's a gaming chair, which he plays games upstairs all the time, but then also he actually gets work done. And this just looks a lot more comfortable. There's like lumbar support and a headrest kind of thing. I wanna wrap this up and then surprise him. I'm so excited. Oh, looks so good. Covered up the side so you can't see the picture on the side. And then you can't really tell. I'll just push it in like this way so you can't see. And then I don't have to waste any more wrapping paper. Looks good. Present, present, present time. Present time. Present time. Hi. I remember. Daisy's sixth Christmas. Moana's first Christmas. Yay. Good? <laughs> yeah. Well, good job wrapping. Cute. Oh, thank you. It's got little pockets too. Oh wow, now I won't lose my phone. <laughs> Thank you babe, Yeah, That's you're so welcome. Good. They're more of a gift for us. I wrote to Cal and Remy from Remy. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Scrabble, let's go! <laughs> Look at Deluxe Vintage Edition. Now we can play Scrabble! Vintage He was there. Vintage oh, smell. She loves <laughs> Oh yeah, vintage. He loves Scrabble. Oh, it's already open. <laughs> she saw. Monopoly and Clue. Now we oh, have wow, games to awesome. play. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> it's an eight card mega pack. Whoa. Whoa, there's so much stuff. I know, I don't even wow. know half of these games, but it looks fun. It's a, it's a neck mount so you don't have to hold your phone. <laughs> I need it too. I know, you're gonna actually use it. I will, that's <laughs> So you put it around your neck and then you put your phone in it. It holds it here. All this right. is to Ani from Cal and I. Hi, Daisy. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, you got me a gift card. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, baby. Cal. Oh. I need something like this. Oh, it's cool. Isn't it nice? Look at the inside. It's all sheerling. Like Look at this like inside. This. Oh, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. Just dad things. It's a car mount charger. I know, I know. Wow. Here, Daisy. <laughs> Babe, what is this again? You you can put T's in the holes there. Mm-hmm. 
And you can like, you can help like align your swing to do this like This is actually really good. Things. I got you this, and then I got you something else that didn't come in the mail. It's a laser that you put onto your thingy, and then your you shaft. like you your, practice your lining up your Perfect. shot. Yeah. I don't know any golf Perfect. lingo. <laughs> that was painful. That was painful for me too. I'm sorry. I'm so jealous. This is what Ollie got my parents. I'm so jealous. Have you seen it, mom? It's like a high tech toaster. You see, there's a screen on it. You oh can like, God. you like can press screen. if you want like, yeah, a bagel and then you press the toasty level. No way. Oh man, I look bad today. No, you look great. Thank you everyone. Okay, <laughs> the first gift, probably the most important. Aww. Also, I don't know where your Christmas card went. I think the back of the I think I left it here. <laughs> what is that? What? what is that? It's ramen just, chapstick. Just a reminder. <laughs> just a reminder. Hell yeah. Thank you. I do love this. Oh, I like this. Mm. It's, it's actually, it's actually kind of cute. We refer to a guy that I used to see as a ramen, so now I have the wonderful remembrance. We didn't have to bring up that anecdote. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Another one from me. I think you need scissors. Anyone have the scissors? Right here. I got it. Oh, she got it. Oh! <laughs> Wait, this is from Remy the Ratatouille, right? Remy the Ratatouille. What? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I was like, huh? Oh my god, it's all the food they make at Disneyland. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> A lot of sweets, oh. but there's there's like turkey legs and Cheese. some stuff too. Cheeseburger spring roll. Oh my god, thanks, babe. Yeah. We should make something new every day. Oh, it's my BTS. What is it? I forgot what it is. It's their new uh, the the album DVD. Oh, like pictures, postcards, everything. I save it for twenty years and you can sell it. I don't have to save it for twenty years. Like like six months. <laughs> don't wrap Got you. Look at Momo. Leave it in there. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, Maybe They're yeah. face masks. <gasps> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this goes with one more thing, but the other thing won't be here for a couple days because it was all sold out. But this is what goes with it. <gasps> a new iPad! <laughs> Everyone's saying I have to open this on camera. This is from Cal. I'm nervous. <laughs> Wait, is this? <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the coolest thing. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. It's a tapestry. <laughs> I forgot to wrap two things for Cal. They're over here. <laughs> I got Cal and my dad and Shane all this mount because they love their phones and they love their cars. So also, this is Cal's big gift, but I forgot to wrap it. I got him a vinyl that he's wanted forever and they didn't make very many of them. So it was kind of hard to find. And then I got him this Whoa. vinyl cover to go with it, but he doesn't know. Okay, are your eyes closed? You can open. I just didn't wrap that one again. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got one too. <laughs> open. Is this for vinyls? Yeah. That's awesome! Yay! That. That's sweet, thank you baby. You're welcome. Hold on. Now close your eyes one more time. Okay, open. He wrapped it so nicely. Thank yeah, you! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you did not. She did. <laughs> These are, so this album's like impossible to get right now. Who is that? It's Anderson Pack. It's like my favorite oh. album, but because the samples he used, they're like, they, they don't make these anymore. Remy went on the I dark web. <laughs> <laughs> so you can display it in there, babe. Oh and then you have God. a wall art. Thank you. are welcome. You know, I couldn't have this Christmas go without a fun one. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> My gamer boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Pull that out again. What did he say? Um, the, Cal gave me a jewelry box, so I said yes. <laughs> My Tito's cup. <laughs> what is this? It's your name in Korean. Oh. oh. 
asshole. <laughs> yeah, she ran in Korean. When he appreciates culture. You're like, I got it. What is it? It's really sweet. It's so pretty. She's written correctly. They love each other. They love each other. Thanks, Good job, John Snow. <laughs> oh, she's, she's going. She's going. Gotta get over there. Oh, gotta get over there. Oh. Go, go. This is for you. This is for Daisy. 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 That's moonshine. Moonshine. Oh, don't show my parents that. Look away. <laughs> we have some gum. Gotta keep it fresh. We love a hall. We have some twigs. I love a hall. Oh! Is it because my phone's always Yes! Yes! I wanted this so badly! You can't even see what's... Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the uh, air fryer just to make space for this. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Close. Bring it in. Bring it in, brother. Bring it keep in. Keep those eyes closed. Bring it in. Open it up. Open it up, brother. Reaper open. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> but now I get your chair because I need a new chair too. Okay. <laughs> Do you love it? <laughs> Look at that. Look at the ergonomics. Ooh. Ergonomics. The ergonomics. back support. The lumbar That's support. what I said. Thank you, Jakey. <laughs> the back support. These gifts are done. Woo! She's rocking her new bag that my dad got her. Wow. <laughs> okay, we're making breakfast. Cal made French toast casserole. Looks beautiful from scratch. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. Smells amazing. I shredded four potatoes this morning and then drained them. I let them oxidize on accident. Did not mean to do that. But uh -huh. we're making Denny style hash browns, eggs, and bacon. Delicious. Let's get cooking. The man whose hash brown recipe I watched told me to melt a lot of olive oil and butter to cook the hash browns. This seems like a lot. I'm a little nervous, but that's what he did. And they looked good, so. Merry Christmas. All right, we got eggs, hash browns, bacon, and then Cal made the oh. French toast over here. Is it good, everyone? Oh, yeah. It looks really good. Good job, babe. Merry Christmas. Absolutely. Uh, Lucas, they, they got some strawberries. I just woke up after knocking out after breakfast. <laughs> I slept for like two straight hours. Ollie's still sleeping. <laughs> My little Ollie. Hello, okay, I'm still waking up right now, so please forgive me, but I'm upstairs and I'm about to start getting ready now because I'm going to film my What I Got For Christmas video. For the last day of Vlogmas, I thought we would do one more speed through of the getting ready. This dry shampoo is almost out, squeezing every last little bit out. All right, so I'm going to do my makeup and my hair and we can speed through this together. Let's go. All right, hair and makeup are done. I'm wearing one of my Christmas gifts I got today from Ollie, which I love. I'm wearing this little black top that I got from Shop Disgrace and then just some black yoga pants because we're just gonna chill. Hello all, we're back. We filmed the Christmas haul. It actually was really, really fun. I put on this jacket that I bought, which I love. This is actually such a cute outfit together. It is. Oh, I love her. Can't wait to wear her nowhere. I. There's a mess right now after doing this haul video. Before we go, obviously we need to do the last small business feature of Vlogmas. Oh my God, this feels weird to like wrap up Vlogmas right now. I asked you guys to ask some questions though because I did want to do a little Q&A before I go. Oh, you can totally put her on the ground now, by the way. Thank you, unless you want to keep her. Okay. Chicky held her because she was screaming while I was trying to do my haul. She looks so cute. 
cute. Oh, she loves you. The last Vlogmas small business feature is from a boutique called Golden House Boutique. And I have to give a shout out to Nikki. She's a girl that I actually met at Coachella last year. She did to me that she and her friend have a boutique together. So I wanted to share them with you guys. She's so, so sweet. Ah! Oh my God, we got dog trees. So cute. Also, I wanted to feature like quite a few on the last day of Vlogmas for you guys, a few different boutiques. Hi, baby. Just to end with a big bang, but unfortunately, a bunch still haven't shown up, I think just because of shipping times and COVID and everything. So don't worry, as they come in, I will still, of course, be doing the hauls for you guys. I want to continue doing this throughout tons of vlogs in the future, just because it's been so amazing to see you guys ride so hard for these small businesses and being able to help them out, especially during this time. So yes, look forward to many more small business hauls in the future, but we got dog treats. We also got a cute bag here. What is this? Oh my god! Ah, my favorite candy. We have peppermint bark. I love these. Are so good. Thank you so so much, guys. It's a baby stocking for Momo. <gasps> this. Oh. Should I change? Look at this set. So soft. It's like a little nude ribbed short set, and then this is the matching top. Okay. Okay, I think it might be, is this a sleep set? But either, like I would wear this out normally, like for a, a normal day. I think this is so cute. It's really, really soft. So we've got this adorable set. Oh, this is so fun. Very Whitney. I love, I was, just, I was gonna say Whitney would love this. It's a little burnt orange top with like fringe on the sleeves. I could so see Whit wearing this with like a fun like yeah. leather pant or something. I love this neckline, like a high neckline. It's a thick ribbed black dress and then it has little ties on the side. So I think you could wear it as a midi dress, but I think you could even wear it as a short dress as well. Maybe even Very a maxi. I love this. And then last but not least, we have this shirt here. This is a t-shirt. Oh, that's cute. It's a little crop top. It says rad, but then they crossed out the P and the A of Prada. Super cute. Thank you so much again. I will leave them linked down below. And to end today's vlog, I figured I would do a Q&A because I didn't do any Q&As really throughout Vlogmas. Somehow yeah. I made it through without doing it. I guess I did one with Cal, but I feel like normally I really do a lot more Q&As and I love oh Q&As. So we're gonna answer some questions that I got on my story. I said, I wanna finish Vlogmas with a Q&A. Ask way. I haven't I looked at anything I... yet. Did you ask some? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Christy better ask, when is the be silly, be you, be yourself drop? Okay, after, <laughs> when we made the jackets or the sweatshirts, I didn't think anyone would ever want a sweatshirt, but then after there was an alarming response of how many people wanted them. So then I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I'll get them made and then actually ship them out myself. And then I realized I have, absolutely no idea how to do that. I would absolutely fuck that up. So I decided to not, but Christy, I will mail you one specifically. Text me your size, I will mail you one. Whitney asked, what was your favorite part of Vlogmas this year? I think as a whole, I had the most fun this year just because I was doing things that I love, like just spending time at home and cooking. I feel like a lot of the times I feel like I have to go over and above with like doing all these crazy things. I always just stand, like we're just talking right now. I feel like I have to go over and above Above, what is the phrase? Above and over? Beyond. Beyond, over and beyond. Up, up and away. I just feel like I have to go all out and like do all these crazy, crazy things. But I realized this year, I don't have to. Like I can just have fun and spend time with people that I love and also of course be safe. So that was a really great thing for me to know that like people will watch just for me and just doing things that I love. So that made me really happy. Is Ollie my favorite bush baby? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Why is that ass so bad? I hate you. <laughs> Okay, you asked why is that ass so fat? Why? <laughs> Someone said, what happened to the perfume you and your aunt always exchanged during Christmas? You guys, you guys, in case you did not know, I'm sure everyone knows now, my aunt has a weird hate for Pharrell. He came out with a perfume, I don't know, like three, four years ago, and I found it, so I bought it just to troll her, and then we made it this whole thing where every year back and forth, we give each other the perfume back. I thought last year, when I went to go visit Cal's family, that I wasn't gonna get the perfume that year. You know, I thought it was over, the tradition was done. You know, we had our laughs, we're good. No, she somehow sneaked it to Cal. He gave it to me while we were in Minnesota and that's when I thought, game on, bitch, mm -hmm. we're gonna go. But unfortunately, of course, because of this year, I didn't see her on Christmas today. No worries, everyone. I have a little plan up my sleeve that involves multiple of the perfumes that I may the have bought. Delivering it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's on Cameo. Pharrell, hit me up. You're not watching this, but hit me up. Why do you always have Cal drive your car? Does he not have a car? 
<laughs> he has a car. Kel has a car, but I just don't like driving. I drive a lot too. I just need everyone to know, but most of the time I'm not gonna vlog if I'm driving because I'm driving, so I'll only vlog when when he's driving, that's why. But also he just loves driving and I get to just sit there and it's great, so that's why. Are you taking a break after Vlogmas? You deserve it, queen. Thank you so much. I am gonna take a break, I think no. for a week or two. I, I'm gonna vlog still, actually. I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I feel like usually I take like a week off or so. I'm probably gonna take a few days off, uh, come back sporadically. Hey! <laughs> We're gonna see, honestly. I have a few vlogs planned that I wanna get done before the end of the year. Like, I wanna do like a reset of the house and things like that, so I, I am gonna post. And not for sure. Drink coming up soon. Now we gotta film the Tudor drink next year. Highest and lowest point of Vlogmas. Ooh! My highest point of Vlogmas was the small business halls, for sure, and getting the letters back from the business owners. That was the high. And I think my lowest point probably was uh, a couple days ago when I was crying in the car, but I am doing better now. Thank you! What did you major in at UCR? I went in as bio and then I switched to psych. And then I left. Easy ways to make money. I would say, honestly, one of the biggest things that I took away from doing all the small business hauls during Vlogmas was that you can turn your passion into a way to make money. So whether it's like starting a boutique and doing that or selling your artwork or selling like music. If you're really good at like producing music or you're good at making graphic designs, like websites like Fiverr is a really great way to find people who need your services. Also what's great is obviously with social media, you have a way to reach people. So most of the businesses that I featured this year were all through Instagram and or Etsy. So it's really easy to get yourself out there and like post your work and you know, find your aesthetic and everything like that. So I thought that was really cool. How do you find the motivation to work out? I don't. <laughs> but in all honesty, I feel like this is something that is, has been hard for me this entire year because obviously, even at the beginning of this year, I was starting to lose my motivation and then with quarantine and everything, I really lost my motivation. I think for me, it's finding like a healthier balance because I used to be crazy and work out every single day, twice a day, like so many times overworked myself to the point where my body couldn't even handle that. And then now I'm lacking motivation to even work out once every couple of days, once every few days. Honestly, I feel like realistically I work out maybe like twice a week or so, which is still obviously good, but I compare myself a lot to my old self and that's what's been kind of hard for me. And I need to find a good balance between the two. So I think you need to find ways that motivate you specifically to work out. Even if it's something as simple as like putting on a cute outfit, sometimes that gets me to work out. If you find a good pre-workout that really like kicks you up and hypes you up to work out, then that's great. If you find a really great program that you like to do, like YouTube videos or a spin bike or the fitness marshal, obviously, then that's always motivational. I think it's just finding one little thing every day to help you work out. Also, I think it's a good mentality switch to change from like, ugh, I have to work out to I get to work out. I get to have this amount of time to myself to work on me, to take care of myself, not to look better, but to you know take care of myself from the inside out. So I think that's, my advice, again, I struggle with it myself, so if you have advice, let me know also. Is it weird if a girl is 26 and still a virgin? Girl is me, and I feel like a unicorn. <laughs> I don't think it is weird at all. I think that, honestly, I wish that I had waited. Ollie, Ollie can step in, you can, you can give a little two cents on this. You have to wait for the right person and not lie to your best friend about where you're going. He's gonna say the night of February 14th. Ollie's got a lot to say about this. We talk about this a lot. Now it's a good thing we like to laugh at. But yeah, we laugh. If I could go back in time, if I could go Imagine back, you waited till Cal. Wouldn't that have been so much better? No, I think that would have been like I I got Aww. to Cal because of like the decisions that I made before. So I think I have to say, do I regret? How I did it, no, because I yeah. learned a lot from it and it got me to where I am now. But the one thing that I do regret about the whole situation is that I really, really rushed it. For me, it was something, and even if you do, it's like not a big deal at all. It's really not a big deal. But if you are 26, if you are 30, if you're four, however old you are, it's not a big it's deal. It's not a big deal at all. I promise you, it's, I think it's really cool, honestly. And I, don't think it's something to rush. I admire people who wait and wait for the right person, but also again, if you choose the wrong person, like I get it, I was there, it's okay. We've all been it's there. not the end of the world. Everybody's timelines are different. I think that you should just do whatever's right for you. And if you feel like it's weird, it's not. I promise. I promise you. And I think you're making the right decision for you. So good for you. Good for you. Also, Mama use approves. protection if you are going to. Momo approved. Momo approved. <laughs> Paw up, baby. Paws up. 
<laughs> All right, guys, on that note, I think I'm just gonna end vlog no! 2020. <laughs> oh my God, do you wanna come say bye, babe? Sure. No. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to my cast for being in this season of Vlogmas 2020. <laughs> We need so much fun. Wait, we gotta get Daisy. Oh, Daisy. Daisy. Daisy, man. Not the cast. <laughs> the cast of Vlogmas The cast 2020. of Vlogmas 2020. Thank you guys for real for watching. This has been such an amazing experience all together. We made it through another year. <laughs> we we set a record of not crying until the 23rd, which Whoa! is so great. Look at Daisy. She looks Daisy like a sloth. is so ready. Hello. She's like, Mom. Mama's ready for her. I date want my beef you. ribs. I'm ready for bed. Thank you guys for real for watching. And be sure to check out all the small businesses that I featured throughout the entire month. Link down below. I will see you guys again before 2021. Love you. Have a great day, night, year, whatever. Goodbye. Uh -huh.